Hello and welcome to this Flowcode 7 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be using the EB006 to read an analog value and write it to an LED array. The LED board will be connected to port B and the sensor board, the EB090, will be connected to port A. Ensure a wire goes from the plus V on the EB090 sensor board to the plus V on the EB006 board. The ground should already be wired via the D-type connector and should not need to be wired in. Now, we're going to make a new project in Flowcode. The chip we're using is a 16F1937. Click OK and start that off. All the other settings should be OK by default. OK, first thing we need to do is create an output of our LED array by adding the LED array to our panel. OK, it's already on port B. and We know we put our LED board on port B, so that's fine. Next, we need an input. I'm going to use the potentiometer slider for the input, but any of the potentiometers will work. Selecting that and changing its properties, I need to select the analog pin 1, because I know that the potentiometer I'm going to use on the sensors board is on analog 1. OK, so now I'm going to create a small little program to read the value. First, I'll need a while loop, then going to the components tab in the Project Explorer, I'm going to use the get byte macro on the potentiometer slider. Then I'm going to have to store a value, uh, store the return value in a, in, a, in a variable. So I'm going to need to create myself a variable by clicking on this little arrow here, and then clicking here to add a new variable. I'm going to call this variable store. It's already defaults to a byte, which is what I need it to be. And I click OK, and then double click here to put the value into here. Clicking OK should end that macro. Next, I'll need a value for writing to the LED array. So I'll use this value, this component macro here. So we're going to write a value, and this is the value we need to write. So we're going to select the store value we just created. Clicking OK should end that. Finally, we want a small delay, so we've got a tight, so we've not got such a tight loop. 10 milliseconds should suffice for a delay for this program. Perfect. Now we can test this with our simulation. If I click play here, and then the slider, all the LEDs should be off at the bottom, and then all the LEDs should be on at the top. And all values in between should be a binary representation of the voltage. Perfect. Now, if we stop that, we can click the compile to chip button to send that to our hardware, save it first, and hopefully, if we leave it a moment, the file will send to our hardware and the program will work by reading the analog value from the potentiometer and printing it to the LED array. Perfect, so that's finished. And that should be a nice, quick, and easy program you can make in Flycode 7. Thank you for listening. This is the end of the tutorial.